They're going to differentiate. Let's go. Man, we'll do that on a podcast episode. Oh, just we'll shave my head. head and then we're going to glue it to the top of yours. <laughs> All right. So remember, don't be looking down there. Yes. I keep you doing gotta, that. You got to look. I'm up here. Do I need to put like a little, a little sticker there? Should, should look I? Here. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody, welcome to another episode of The Exchange. Here I am, Stormy. We've Andrew, got Bayshore Bullion Exchange. Andrew, and we've got a lot to talk about. Yeah, it's been a crazy week. We've just seen gold hit all-time highs. Yeah. You know, big move in silver. Yeah. You know, a lot going on with premiums. Lots lots to uh, talk about since lots last time Lots to unpack. Yeah. So the funny thing is, you know, you and I and uh, the Bullion Air, we did a video doing price predictions on where gold is going to be. He said... Give him some credit. He said, like, in three years, it's going to drop yeah, down to, like, 1500 well, He's off th- right now. He's off right now by a lot. I, I Anything can happen. But you know what? I really didn't see any news propel it. I, I thought right. that there'd be something going on where say, oh, man, that's what caused gold to hit all-time highs. I really didn't see any information that I thought would have set it off, and, you know. And that's why I called you, because I also didn't see anything. There wasn't no. any geopolitical change in what's going on. I think on. there was. Uh, Fed, was they, re- they released Fed okay. statement minutes, I believe. See, uh, I don't pay attention to any of yeah, that stuff. I always had the MSNBC on. In here. I know, you're always watching. But, you know, I, I had a couple interesting conversations with a couple big dealers, you know. And uh, one of them I had a conversation with I couldn't even believe. He was saying that, you know, it, as metals go parabolic, who knows how high they could really go. Let's say they did take off. Gold went to $2,800, $3,000, and silver went to $75, $80 an ounce. You might see, you, you've seen the trend that we talked about earlier in a week of like metals going, the premiums going down. Yes. Now they're negative. I don't know if you looked at them yesterday. They're like at spot on yeah. everything now. You yeah. know, a lot of this stuff's going under spot, the minus 15 cents. You might see a time when gold hits 2,800. And this is like a twilight zone scenario, <laughs> right? Where gold's 3,000, 2,800, and the bid's minus $300, minus $200, you and, know, and, and, and selling it at spot. <laughs> you know, it's it's, it, it, it's like the twilight zone. I went through a lot of stages with premiums. But my first couple of years in business, they were like a set rate. Yeah, you didn't really even have to check on them that right. much because they really didn't sway away from it. And uh, we went through the uh, period after COVID where they premiums were the highest you ever seen, and then now they're like falling. They're uh, you know, and that's a crazy scenario for gold to be. Yeah, three thousand all time highs, three thousand dollars, and like the premiums coming down is a pretty crazy scenario. Have you uh, ever seen a situation where things went negative like that, where premiums were negative? Uh, briefly, Do they were when, like at one time. Uh, no, I just remember all time high. Yeah, or? I just remember it, it being like it was now. I think the premium on hundred ounce bars are minus fifteen cents right now. So if it, so, like you're saying, it's like the twilight zone. To me, what I'm imagining or, or picturing here is like if. You know, if the everyday stacker went on to, let's say, like a BayshoreBullionExchange.com or an EmpirePreciousMetals.com, <laughs> shameless plug. But if they went to like a website, like, let's say like an AppMax or SD Bullion or whatever, essentially they would see the ticker. They would see the spot price at, let's just use $3,000 an ounce gold uh, as our example. But they would see AppMax's prices on stuff at like $2,800 for a gold item like that's like it, it would be well like, you'd, here's you'd the see price, gold trade at three thousand but if you wanted to sell to them they're only oh, they're paying be 2800 below. they're 100 they... 200 below and then maybe selling it at spot gotcha where your wholesale cost might be minus 50 cents right <laughs> you know what i mean so you could sell it at spot that's that is bizarre yeah it, it, it it's uh pretty crazy and you know some of the people i talked to said that'll never happen but I don't know. It's kind of looking right now. The way the premiums a lot are. of people I talk to, stuff's not selling. Right. A lot of people selling right now, taking uh, profit, taking. They want uh, want to take part in all time highs. Right. Why wouldn't you cash out on gold right now? Right. If you bought any time in the last six, eight months, year, years, any time, set all time highs. Right. You know. Right. So it's gonna be a lot of profit taking. Uh, it's volatile right now too. Do you, you know? D- and gold went up like. How much? 70, 80 bucks this week alone? Yeah. I didn't I didn't see the yep. exact amount, but I remember it was back to back days. It was like thirty five bucks the one day, forty the next. Um and you know, when you just said, you know, why wouldn't people be profit taking right now? Gold is at all time highs, I'm like, Oh man, maybe I should too, but it could go higher. It could go higher. And that's what happened. I, I, somebody was asking me on Instagram, 
they were there they said that they're they've been watching my channel for a couple of years now this is the first i've ever heard from this person and they said i just want to know what should i do what should i buy is now a good time and actually in a friend of mine who, who lives nearby he also was asking me you know should i buy gold and i'm like it's at all-time highs but i'm still i'm still buying and not just for me to sell i'm buying to to stack because i remember mid 2000s i bought gold when it was at 900 bucks or 850 dollars whatever and that was all-time highs back then but i bought it and now we're at 2070 yeah it could, so it could take off you know do you do you think it's a good time for people to be stacking well, gold? You know, here's or? the thing with gold. You know, it's not gonna, it's never gonna be worth nothing. Yeah. You know, even if you bought it right now and man, it pulled back to eighteen hundred. You know, and you have two three ounces, it's yeah. really not. You know, your money's it's never gonna be worth nothing. It's you know, gold's always a safe investment. I think you're not gonna get rich with it. It's not gonna go to twenty five thousand. It's not gonna hit. Right. I think Bitcoin's trading at thirty eight thousand. Right Is it now? now? Yeah, you know. And that's another crazy thing. You know, gold's not even 1%. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, 10% of the, of the Bitcoin price. And it's like, man. It's just, it's it's a totally different. Bill, the people with Bitcoin, people also um, always talk about how there's a finite amount. There's only going to be 21 million Bitcoin ever. And with gold, you know, you do see estimates as to how much gold there is on Earth or whatever. But. I mean, nobody really knows until you dig it all up. So let me so. tell you, you know, touching on the other other topic we discussed, uh, investing in metals right now in a scenario like that where, you know, gold's trading at 3000 and uh, you're paying 100 under or silver's at $80 and the bid's minus $3.50. At that point, you might be better off investing in GLD or SLV. Yeah. When you sell it back, you could sell it back at market price, whereas... You're going to lose, uh, you know, you're going to be under market on, on, on the physical when you sell it back, you know. So that that's a tricky thing, too. You might see a lot of people, like right now, not buying. Right. You know what I mean? And Because uh, that's another thing. There's just people selling. There, this stuff's just not moving right I, now. I mean, know? so to, to be 100% honest with you, too, you know, I whenever I see metal prices going up, especially, you know, on the day of my, my live sales, I'm always really happy because, you know, okay, that's yeah, everything at least you bought's worth I, more money. Exactly, yeah, yeah, more profitable. But at the same time, I'm like, oh man, there is a psychological aspect. They're gonna feel that gold is too expensive right now. It scares people too, yeah. Yeah, so they might want to hold off. High. Exactly, yeah. but they bought and the the auction went well. Um, there's just you know the thing with the stacking community. There's just such a strong belief in it. That they'll always stack and they'll always look at it as a place to park their money. I guess it depends on your level too of uh, like how much inventory you have. Yeah, you know these yeah. people that are sitting on less than a hundred ounces. You know what I mean? It's kind of whatever. There's some some people bought. I've had some big transactions when silver was in the forties, thirties. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I mean hundreds of thousands of dollars. You right. know, and it's tough, man. Yeah, it's uh, you know, you try to. When you're talking about metals, you know, everybody has a different stack, you know, so it's and hard that, to, like, give a, the right answer for, uh, yeah. you know. But I always I always like that, um, you know, scenario when somebody is brand new, because I get excited for that. When there's somebody that's new to metals, you know, because the, the whole YouTube channel, this whole thing started off as a hobby, not as a business. I had zero interest to get into becoming a, a dealer. Right. Like, that's just something that kind of happened over time. But when I was into the actual just hobby of stacking and collecting and everything like that, um, whenever anybody would ask me about precious metals or, you know, what do they buy or whatever, I would get all excited because then I could kind of help guide them, give them my right, right. my advice. It's and like interesting conversation. It's interesting yeah, conversation. Yeah, yeah. They ask you, like, oh, well, why do I, why not just buy this? And, and why they not value buy your opinion. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. so to this day, I still get those questions. It's just, unfortunately, those questions come from the internet people they don't come from like real life friends because i have none and so i just i just um you know i i try to guide people the best that i can so when they're asking me right now like what type of gold should they be buying i think because things are as expensive as they are i think you can't go wrong buying the government backed sovereign coins like the gold eagles buffaloes maples not the Krugerands that you like. Uh, the, the, the Britannia's. 
on are the, they under spot? The spot I there. might have to buy one. On the spot that's... right now. I'm buying them at like minus ten dollars. Are you? Yeah. All right. I might have to put an order in you with up. you. It's I think I'm going to have to because because <laughs> you know I've ultimately what I would like to do is have at least like one, one of coin these. of from like every nation except for pandas. I don't really care to buy like a gold panda. No. no. Hating on the pandas. Not hating on them. Like I'll sell like the fractional <laughs> ones, but I'm not going to buy like the one ounce ones. You know. Why? <laughs> I, I, I just, what do you got against the panda, man? <laughs> I think because they don't... You know what it is? I think because of the the design changes every year, which I know so does like the uh, kangaroo. Um, what else is, of those sovereign coins changes every year? Not the, not Obviously not the eagle, not the Britannia. I guess there's only just a couple. I never see like a gold koala. I don't even know if gold koalas exist. They do the gold kookaburras, but they're tenth out sizes. But anyway, going back to the one ounce sizes, I don't, I don't know. They just don't interest me. I don't hate them. I don't mind selling them. them for the for one ounces. Or yeah, but you know what? A lot of people get confused. They had the thirty gram at one time. They no, they're all thirty gram now. Oh, are they all thirty gram now? The silver ones. Yeah, they're all thirty gram. Uh, I think two thousand sixteen was the Weird. last year. Weird. A lot of people think that China did it just to spite America. Just like, oh, them. we'll get you. That's American numismatics. Yeah, we're we'll going to get you down to... We're going to change the 30 we're, grams now. We're going to get them out of a gram. <laughs> out of one measly gram. But I want to, you know... I, I tell people sovereign nation stuff. I, you, I know you do a lot of the bars. Um, and that you think that bars are a good way to go. For me, the only issue that I have with bars is that... You really are playing the spot game. Like it's very yeah, tight to spot right now. Premiums are so low that you know it, I'm going to move my recommendation soon. To I, even Britannia's, you see how low wholesale yes. uh, you could sell them at two uh, less know. than three dollars over spot and like. So what are you? So, yeah, now's a good time. Sovereign coins, buy them. Premiums are low. Yeah, you know what I mean. Now's a, now's definitely a, a good time to buy anything. The know? other thing too, I would say, and this is, and I don't know how you feel about this. But um, recently, SD Bullion put out a new coin. It's Napoleon. It's like they're... Oh, I think I've seen you post that. Yeah, it's like they're, they're great leaders. I forget the name of the series. It's like the, the great leaders in history or something like that, whatever. Obviously, one of you is going to correct me and put it in the comments <laughs> and let me know. Someone please do. Somebody's going <laughs> to let me know. But it's um, 12 in the series. So the Napoleon coin came out. They did a five-ounce silver coin. Um, and it's the first of, I believe, 12. And so they just came out with the gold coin. And it's, again, the first of 12. There's going to be, I think, only 2,000 of the one ounce gold coins. And there's 10,000 of the 10th ounce gold coins. But the, the reason that I am like, oh, this is a really good idea to buy this coin is because, number one, again... And this is for all of you. This is just like something that runs through my head when I'm thinking about buying like gold coins that will appreciate. <clears throat> first in the series. First in the series of 12. That's a long series. Um, what that means is if obviously if somebody's going to get into coin collecting and they hop in and they're, oh, oh that's a, this is a cool, you know, Alexander the Great or, um, you know, uh, Caesar or whatever. They're, this is awesome. Oh, there's it's part of a series. Oh, there's five others already that came out. I got to buy those. The first in the series is always going to cost more because people that are getting late to the game, right. they're going to want that first, second, third. So we're talking 12. That's a very big window. That's a long series. So first in the series. But the other thing too right now is because gold is where it is in terms of price, the price of these Napoleon gold coins are in line with Eagles, Britannias, Maples, if not cheaper. Oh, wow. So in my opinion, somebody that's looking to get into gold right now, yeah, you could go buy your gold Britannia. You could buy your gold Eagle or whatever. But this has that collector's edge to it. And so the chances of this appreciating in value are much higher. I've seen that movie just came out too. The Napoleon movie. Is that why they released it? Or so not? they... They do releases once in a while with movies, but um, it's it's usually after the fact. So they did a release of these Godzilla coins, like Godzilla, King Kong, and everything. Atmex did something like that. And this was like two or three years ago where the new Godzilla movie came out. 
and they timed the release of these coins with the movie. Oh, nice. Um, but I think the the recent release of the Napoleon coins, I think that that's... I don't think that's coincidental. I think that they definitely... Did you see the movie? I haven't, but it looks uh, good. Yeah, it looks good. I don't... I don't have time to go to the movies. Do you have time to go to the <laughs> no, movies? No, not at all. Hoping to catch it on uh, Amazon Prime. Oh, uh, and sometimes I don't even have time for that. <laughs> yeah. I've been actually uh, watching um, on Hulu. I've been watching the uh, story of Wu Tang and oh, how yeah. they started. Oh, yeah. Check that out. Have, do you I was like a big Wu Tang fan? Man. Were you? Oh yeah. You look like you would have been. A I big love Wu Tang, man. It's on. Do you have Hulu? Yeah, of course. Oh, it's called American Saga. Yeah, I think I've seen advertisements for it before. It's like four years old. I I I never had Hulu. But what's awesome about that show, like if you're a fan of of Wu Tang, is like you're seeing how they all get like got their start, yeah. And kind of you know like you start like if you know their songs and everything, like you're like oh like I know that track yeah, like yeah, like you yeah, see sure. one of them like just like ad libbing something off the cuff. They were and big like, back in the day, man. They I was were a big, big fan growing up. They Wu-Tang. were. They actually <laughs> and they actually uh, lit up the Empire State Building um, maybe a month ago in black and yellow for their thirtieth anniversary. Oh, okay, it's only only in New York City, folks. <laughs> but um, but so going back to like the gold, you know, I was telling people recently that they should be buying gold right now. I was actually like beating them up on my on my live stream i was telling them like guys this is like fit, the coins i'm selling are 50 60 70 dollars below what you can buy them everywhere else i was selling like 10,000 gold coins at like 240 235 240 and like, like atmex had them atmex had them at 308 really that jm high? bullion had them oh, at wow. 310 so That's weird his premiums are coming down right now yeah even you you could probably offer them I don't know about right now, but next week you'll probably be offering them cheaper than uh, you know. Oh my god! But I don't want to be. Are I, coming down. You got it. That's the thing. When they come down, you're going to start seeing one ounce rounds, silver rounds on spot. A uh, uh, spot plus fifty cents online. You, you're yeah, gonna, they're going to really be coming down, and you're going to if you're going to be selling them higher, you ain't going to get no sales. Right. You know, they're going to be buying them cheaper. So. Well, I always try to price myself, and you do this too. I always try yeah, to price, you price myself yourself with below, the market. Yep. You know, like right, right below. Everybody else, I'm well, like right so you can there. Say, hey, the market's here. I'm right here. Yes, you know. that's how I always do. Yeah, sure. But um, you know, going also back to the the gold, like Napoleon coin. Just this is just an example. You know, I just I feel like something like that. And I'm not in with SD bullion, by the way. <laughs> just so I, I want to make that very clear. That that those types of coins I will buy always if it's the first in the series and if the pricing is in line with gold eagles or britannias or things like that because to me i think there's nothing but upside because let's say you're looking to buy a gold coin a gold eagle for example and it's twenty two hundred dollars or and they're a dime a dozen right or you could buy another coin where there's only two thousand minted and it's the same price if not cheaper you know in my opinion there's only upside you know in in that case it's going to come down to the customer too it comes they might look the, at a Napoleon coin and say, what the, what hell, the hell is that? Yeah, yeah. And that's the, <laughs> the thing. The hell I want to do with a Napoleon coin. That's you know? the thing. But I feel like if there's only a mintage of 2,000, you have a much better shot of actually selling right. that coin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? A um, lower mintage. Yes. And then when you're talking about like 10th ounces, being that they have 10,000 of them, you know, same scenario. They might be like, oh, what the hell is this Napoleon coin? But when you're telling them, look, low mintage, only 10,000. Still, and still low price still low price so. and you or you're or right so so that that's that's my take on it um but people you guys have to definitely make sure you're being smart about everything shop around check out andrew's website basial Basial Bullion Bullion Exchange. Exchange.com. yeah good good website lots of good stuff on there he's selling hmm. bulk silver you know kilos 10 ounce bars 100 ounce bars gold um actually what's just the- started accepting zell actually I'm going to start taking Zell. Congratulations. I, I did, I did, uh, my first two transactions yesterday. I wasn't your Zell. first transaction. No, nah, man. You got Zell? Yes. Oh, I've been man. telling you all We've been long. working on e-checks. Yeah. I know, but I've been telling you, <laughs> take Zell Cash App. I'm going to start because uh, I've been having some issues with PayPal. Okay. I don't know. So uh, I think awesome. we discussed that too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a whole other topic. We'll talk about that on the on another <laughs> upcoming episode. Yes. But uh, guys, every Sunday, definitely check out check The out Exchange. Check out our podcast, The Exchange. And uh, Stormy's YouTube channel, Empire Precious Metals. Yep. And we'll see you on the next one. See you guys later.